You're fired up. Let's go. 11 days to go. We're going all the way. Come on, everybody. And Murphy and I flipped a coin to see who would have to follow the incredibly inspiring Johanna Hayes. Murphy won. Can I just tell you something? Connecticut, you are so lucky. We are so lucky that Johanna Hayes is going to be going down to Washington, D.C. She is going to be a champion for Connecticut, a voice for people who don't have a voice, and a champion for kids all across this country. Come on, Johanna. And Johanna and Chris Murphy and John Larson and Dick Blumenthal and I need these partners in Washington, D.C. We have a lot of work we got to do. And having a friend down there in D.C. as opposed to what we got right now is going to make our lives a lot easier. Make sure you pay attention to Chris Murphy on Election Day. All right. So we know we got a lot of work to do. We also found out the hard way a couple of years ago that elections matter. Elections really matter. We could have a very different voice coming out of the White House right now. And for the next 11 days, I'm working my heart out. I need you to work your heart out. I'll be there fighting for you for the next four years. That I promise you. And I got a guy backstage. He's been fighting for working families. He's been fighting for the middle class for the last 50 years. Joe Biden, we are so proud that you're here with us today. Not yet, not yet, but we are so proud. And he knows what is at stake in this race. He knows what is at stake for Connecticut and beyond. And I just got to remind you, the difference between me and Bob Stefanowski, the Republican, is like night and day. It's a lights-on, lights-off election. Bob has this sort of Trumpian tax scheme where he says, I'll be able to eliminate 50, 60 percent of the budget. I'll tell you how later. Uh, he says it's going to be a $1.3 billion tax cut for the 400 richest families in Connecticut. $1.3 billion for 400 families. And you know who's going to pay for it? No, Johanna, not Mexico. <laughs> You're going to pay for it. We're going to pay for it. Uh, he's going to jack up property taxes. He's going to slam education. He's going to fire teachers. He's going to cut health care. And that's the exact wrong thing to do. And we're not going to let him do it, are we? Susan and I are going to do just the opposite. We are going to reduce the property tax. We are going to invest in education in our future. And we're going to save Obamacare. I know. Donald Trump says he can get rid of Obamacare. Bob Stefanowski, when asked at the debate a couple weeks ago, oh, I don't think uh, Obamacare has really helped anybody in this state. Are you crazy? There are half as many people without insurance today as there were uh, just um, eight years ago. Half as many people filing for bankruptcy because of a medical emergency. People are now, women are now covered for maternity care and contraception. And by the way, as you heard from Chris, there are 500,000 people in this state who have a pre-existing condition. Uh, maybe they have a child with autism. Maybe they have a spouse with diabetes. I hear from them everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, am I going to be covered? Am I going to be protected? Can I count on you? You can count on me. I guarantee you those Obamacare protections and pre-existing conditions, we're going to fight. Connecticut can make a difference. Governors can make a difference. Whatever comes out of Washington, they're not going to infect Connecticut. We're going to fight for Connecticut values. And every time I talk about health care, 
or I talk about uh, Bob's perfect NRA rating, or I talk about fighting for a woman's right to choose, the Stefanowski campaign says, there goes Ned again, wants to talk about anything except for the economy and jobs. I'm happy to have that debate. Let's bring it on. I would be, I would be the first governor in generations who actually started a business, created jobs. I'm going to laser beam on making sure each and every one of your kids has an amazing opportunity in the state and make sure these are Connecticut jobs for Connecticut families. I am fighting for jobs. I am the guy that hires people. Bob is the guy that fires people. You heard him say, hey, look, Andy, I took a billion dollars out of UBS. Anybody can take a billion dollars out. Yeah. They ended your failed division, shut it down. Now you look at what's going on in the UBS building in Stanford. They shut that down, out of business sign on it. The only thing in there are a bunch of pink slips in the biggest trading floor around. And he says, I'm going to do for Connecticut what I did for UBS. Are you kidding? No thanks, my friend. No thanks. That's not what we need. We need good paying jobs right here in this state. And that's what I'm going to do. Just, just one more thing. I need you every day for the next 11 days to roll up your sleeves and fight. I'm going to bring real change to this state. We're going to change the way we do business. We're going to change our relationship. We're going to make sure we get this state going again. We're going to make sure we get this state growing again. It's going to be a growing economy, and it's going to be a fair economy. And... A lot of things I love about the state of Connecticut, a lot of reasons we're all here, a lot of reasons we're standing here and believing, a lot of reasons we're fighting. It's uh, also about the values, not Trump values, Connecticut values, the values that we hold dear. I like to say it's, uh, I'm following the principles of FDR, which is fairness, decency, and respect. FDR, fairness, decency, and respect. And I haven't heard that coming out of Washington, D.C., but as your governor, I guarantee you, those are going to be the principles we operate by. That's what we're going to stand up for every day. Look, we got to get up and stand up. you got to stand up for your rights. you got to get up, stand up. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fight. And I am so proud to be introduced to you, Vice President Biden. I got to tell you, he and Barack Obama, you just remember every day you are proud of the principles that they represented. Talk about fairness, dignity, and respect. Fairness, dignity, and respect. And this is a guy that never stopped fighting. He's been fighting for the last 50 years. He's fighting for us now. He knows what's here at stake in the state of Connecticut. And I want you to give him a rousing Connecticut welcome, Vice President Joe Biden.